Shoo! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Before we jump in, I gotta let you know that Manscaped is sponsoring today's video. Manscaped is the global men's lifestyle brand that's disrupting the beard market. And newest to their collection is the Beard Hedger Pro Kit. So whether you've managed your mane for years or maybe just getting started, what does the perfect beard grooming regimen look like? Right here, folks, this right here is the perfect beard regimen. Not only that, but you might be wondering this guy right here. This is the Beard Hedger Trimmer. And you might be wondering, how does this thing help you achieve the look that's best for the shape of your face. The Beard Hedger has more than 20 hair cutting lengths that can be selected from their zoom wheel. You get 20 lengths with just one guard, so you don't have to worry about a million clip-on guard attachments to get the job done. You can grow the perfect beard with Manscaped Beard Oil and then finish it off with the Manscaped Beard Balm. On top of that, the Beard Hedger is actually waterproof, so it's super easy to clean. Manscaped's Beard Shampoo and Conditioner will leave you feeling hydrated and silky soft. With the Beard Hedger Pro Kit, you even get a free beard accessory pack that includes a beard comb, beard scissors, and a beard brush. Right now, you can click the link down in the description down below and go to manscaped.com to get 20% off plus free shipping when you use promo code FLAIR. That's 20% off plus free international shipping with promo code FLAIR, only available at manscaped.com. Dot com. Huge shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. It's brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do what I do every single day, which is make videos for you guys at home to enjoy. So with that being said, let's get back to the video. Shoo! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Yep, yep, I, yep. We're selling them. You guys are... No, we're not actually selling the donkeys. We're selling some animals. We're actually selling four animals today, believe it or not. We're going to roulette. Which ones? Yeah, roulette the four. Put Rick Spin on. Put wheel. Rick on three times. See, oh, see really? what happens. Yeah. Nah. So we're we are gonna sell four animals today. There's good reason. Okay, you just gotta hear me out. There's there is good reason. We need to take everybody take care of everybody first. We gotta get everybody fed, watered. The chickens have been laying hella eggs. We gotta go collect all those and get all those ready. And then we have to somehow get four animals in the back of that trailer right there. And then we're gonna haul them off to the exotic auction. Okay, the exotic auction is my preferred place to sell the animals that we got at the exotic auction because they hold their value and they go to good homes. When you buy something at the exotic auction, it, typically it's a higher end animal, something that's worth more money for whatever reason, because it looks cute, looks funny, you name it, that's why. So, although I have bought some exotic animals before and then, then take them to the normal auction, we usually don't get very much money and I don't know where they're going versus the people that go to these auctions for the most part are just, you know, having like fun little pet Zeus. They're not eating so, it. No. So if you sell your donkeys, they go to a donkey farm. You sell an alpaca, it goes to an alpaca farm. You sell camel, he's going to go to a camel farm. It's not like they're going to go get, you know, hauled off to get slaughtered. So again, I feel good about it. But Carlos, why are you dirty, Carlos? There's no reason for you to look that muddy, Carlos. We got a nice, three nice huts for you. Carlos, you come here. And you choose not to go into any of them. Should we get rid of Carlos? We got Carlos at the normal auction, actually. The donkeys were Craigslist. You were a normal auction. You were a mistake. And then we have Ralph, Steve, the sheep, Carol, is that all the animals we got? Those guys were all exotic. That's gonna be the plan today. So we're gonna get these guys fed and take care of. Let's start with the chickens, because the plan is once we start feeding the big animals, we have to strategically separate the four that we're selling to one side. Don't let me forget to shut that gate over there, by the way, I just realized yeah. that gate's open. Yeah. We need to get the four onto one side and then basically try to push them into that pen and get them loaded up in the trailer. This is also gonna be a good trial run for when we have to move the rest of the animals. So if we get rid of four today, we're still gonna have four, five, six, is that six, seven, seven? Dang, we only, we only have, no, eight, eight, eight with Ralph. Oh, yeah, we're not selling Ralph, spoiler Ralph alert. Like yeah, Ralph counts as a seven, so. Chicken's probably coming out, so full day didn't want to come out. Hey, What's hey, she's, why are you fighting? Biting? Yeah, she's, bite, she's biting them, she's, hey. They're hungry. Look, see her, the air, ears pin. she's freaking pissed. Why are you there like you this? I'll pet you. You be nice. Don't be mean, we'll take you too, buddy, all right? All right, let's get these, we're gonna collect some eggs, and it's been 48 hours uh, since we, right, does that sound right? Oh, Lana, 20, just 24? 48? 40, 48 to 36-ish. That chicken just laid a dookie right there. He take a poop? Yeah. Hey. What are you doing, Jimmy? Yeah, I, as you can tell, there's snow on the ground. It doesn't make any sense. There was no chickens out. These two just came out. That's how cold it is. It's it's not warm out They're here. They're always outside. Unfortunately, it's not warm. The weather, I don't get it. Like, dude, it was 65 the other day, and now, like, when we were trout fishing, it was, like, 65 out, and now it's 20 and snowing, so. Hey, chickens. How you guys? Hey, how you doing, chickens? You guys have, hey, get out of the box. Oh, man, they, you guys slowed down. Ladies, what did I tell you about slowing down production? Do you think it's because it gets cold? Maybe. Does it have something to do with that? I mean, I think for 24 hours, we're still 
we're still not doing too bad. So, all right, so I've got one here. Okay, one, seven, 14. That's a cool looking one. That is 14. 16, oh, this one's coming out. What do you got well, I thought you were talking about a chick is hatching. I was like, what do you mean? What do we got, 18? <laughs> yeah. 19. All right, how, how pissed are you going to be? Mama. Three. Mama. Mama. I just got to get them eggs under you, buddy. 25. That's a lot of them. Oh, there. sheesh. What are you hiding out of there, buddy? 29. 30. She got about two more under her. Hey, 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 hey. Wow. hey. 30. We're at 30. 30. Yeah. That's 33. Okay. Is that it? I think so. 30, you're slowing down, chickens. We need one per hour. That's the rule. Get to clucking and doing chicken things, all right? I want you guys are slow. No, that's pretty, that's not bad. Yeah. For, I think it was about 36 hours, so it might still be about an, an egg an hour is okay. what my goal is. If I get an egg an hour, we're making money. All right, so chickens are taken care of. No, we're not selling any of the chickens. They will have exotic chickens. If you want us to buy something, I know it sounds not like... Doesn't make sense to sell and then buy, but I'll explain to you guys why we're selling what we're selling and why, and it'll make sense. And there's gonna be animals at the auction that fit the business model, essentially. That makes sense. It's like, it's it's tough because I don't wanna sell any of my animals. I like all of them. They're all super fun to hang around, but there are a select few that have been causing problems and that also just don't really like us and don't really feel, I don't feel like they they're, they feel like it's home to them uh, and so that's what we're gonna do today is get those guys off to a better place that's the goal is get them to a farm with like species animals meaning they're around the, their, their same kind and then we can potentially buy more animals that are similar because everyone wants more Dales right yeah. everybody could use a new Dale in his life so all right so uh, this, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you right now what we're selling I know this is gonna be a tough one Steve, your time has come to go on to greener pasture, Steve. Sounds like we're killing him, yeah, we're but not. we're not killing him. Hey buddy, how you doing? Steve has been causing issues for several months now. I've been really stubborn. I'm like, you know, you guys, I'm stubborn because Ralph was kind of fighting everybody and I was so stubborn that I was like, I'm gonna wait four months. I'm gonna build him his own house, his own pen, and I'm gonna cut his nuts off, so then he's fine. He's still an angry camel, okay? He's still not all that nice. He's nicer. We love Ralph though. But he's not all that nice. So we're still keeping Ralph, but Steve on the other, and this poor, this poor man, Steve, I love you, Steve. You're, you're one of my best friends, Steve. We bought him. I think that was one of the second, the second exotic. Yeah. I think Carol was the first, yeah. and then Steve. Steve, I never liked him really. So you didn't like Steve. No. So the reason why we're getting rid of Steve is he still has nuts. We're gonna start a new policy when we move. No nuts, okay? If you have nuts, you can't live here. Uh, because if you have nuts, Ralph, you get it. You have, you start problems. And so Ralph and Steve and Steve and Carlos, basically any male, Steve fights with, okay? The amount of times we've come down here and Steve is high sticking and biting and spitting and like sometimes we'll come down and there's spit right here on Ralphie. It's just not a good look, Steve. And he's just, he's not calmed down. The other thing that sucked was we lost Llama, okay? Steve and Llama were best friends. Ever since we lost Llama, Steve has not been happy. He has not been, he's, he's just been, he, feel, he feels, he's a, yeah, he's just, you know, he's, he's there but he, he doesn't want to be here. And so I feel like it's my responsibility to ensure his happiness and get him off to an alpaca farm. The fact that he has nuts tells me that somebody that already owns an alpaca farm will buy him because he'll be a great breeder, okay? He's worth something to these guys. So I, I feel very confident that Steve will go to a better home and be around other alpacas since we lost Llama, which was the closest thing to an alpaca. He doesn't have any friends. And so I feel really bad for him. And then Andy picks fights. The second rule that we're implementing at the new farm is no shearing, okay? Shearing is a huge pain because we have to find some what? What are you? <laughs> what is he? What are you? Are you yawning? What are you doing? What is going on? You tired, Look buddy? He's trying to eat my hand. Are you hungry? We're gonna get you some Scoobies here in a second. So no shearing, okay? So Steve, you, he has to be sheared. He doesn't have any animals like him, and he's fighting, okay? We are gonna be a drama-free farm for the most part, okay? Speaking of shearing, you've got Big Mama right here. Hey, Big Mama. You and you and your baby, wherever your baby ended up. Oh, your baby, your baby's right there. It is. Those two little guys are all covered in hay. The cutest little baby doll sheep you ever did see. Hey, hey, I'll I'm gonna take you if you don't call him. Down. Get him, Ralph. Him Kick his ass, Ralph. Tell him to be quiet. We're trying to film, okay? So we gotta. We're taking the sheep too. Now the sheep were the most recent purchase from the exotic auction. We brought them in. They've been fun, but they're skittish. They don't like us. They don't like like. They don't like to be petted really. Like she's kind of warming up, but not really. The baby ones are. And they don't, they're so 
not like the rest of the animals, they won't go in the barns with the animals. So I came out here yesterday. I'll, I'll put up a video here. Everything else was in the barns except the sheep. The sheep were up on the hill. Now I get it. Sheep don't need barns because they're all covered in wool. I get that. But they just, they don't feel like they could be, they'd be happier in their own pen. And instead of separating them, I said, why don't we just sell them and give them to another sheep farm? so they can go do sheep things with other sheep on a sheep farm. That's the plan, no shearing and no nuts. Those are the rules for the new farm. And unfortunately, Steve, you qualify for both and the sheep qualify for one of them. And so what we'd be left with would be three donkeys, Carlos the horse, Rick and Dale, Carol, and Ralphie. So we're, we're narrowing it down. Now, we're not, I'm not saying we're gonna start selling everything. We're gonna buy more, but we can't buy anything with nuts and we can't buy anything that needs to be sheared. Those are the rules right there. We could get another Carol. Carol could use a friend. She actually enjoys it here though. She's, she's, a, she's been having a great time. Ralph's been having a great time. These, both these animals are do totally fine by themselves and Carlos identifies as a donkey now. And then Rick and Dale have each other. So you need, everybody needs a companion and, and Carol and Ralph, they, since they're the two big dogs, they hang out together. That's kind of the, anyways. That's the spiel, folks, okay? So I wanted to give you guys a full backstory, not think that we're just selling random animals because we're bored. We've been planning to sell these guys for months and months and months. I've just been really crossing my fingers that Steve don't hurt nobody in the meantime. If you remember, Steve was the one that ripped Carlos's nutsack. Uh, Steve's been somewhat of a troublemaker. Then he lost Llama. I just feel really bad for the guy. So we're gonna get these guys fed, but we're gonna feed them. And then we gotta try to push Steve to the other side, push the sheep to the other side and get them in the trailer. And then we're gonna head to the auction. Stay tuned. Come on, Carol. Hey, can we, can we take these turkeys while we're at? Yeah. There you no, go. I'm just them. Hey, Ralph. Hey, Ralph's gonna high stick here. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Hey, Ralph. Easy. Easy. Here you go. There you go. Ralph. All right. Man, there's a chance I just come up and bear hug one of these little sheep and just hand it to you, Banjo. How's that make you feel? You think that's doable? All righty. Now we gotta separate these guys. So. Hey, I'm gonna take you to the auction. You stop hissing, buddy. Come on, mama. Come on, mama. Uh-oh, she's gonna be stubborn. More stubborn than I thought. When there's grain, she ain't that she ain't that weary. Yep, there you go, you got one. All right, make sure that one don't come back. Hey, Ralphie, it's okay. Okay, I'm just getting out of Ralph's way right now. Steve, Steve, Steve's coming. I see, you can't, watch, watch, watch that one. Two of the sheep. Go, push, the, push the big sheep first. She'll see her babies and then we'll worry about Steve. There you go, Banjo. Get him, Banjo! There it is, all right. Slide on the ground. Do you wanna push him right now or do you wanna just get them loaded up and come back for Steve? I'm just worried, I'm worried he's not gonna go through if you're staying by the gates, the problem. Let's just see if we can push the sheep. So we just gotta get him up in that chute and then we'll be all right. Mama might, she might bulldoze you, Banjo. She, oh my God, she's squaring up. She's squaring up. She is not afraid. She is not afraid. There you go. Hey, don't push him too hard. Don't push him too. Come on. All right. I'm not. I'm, we got to go mobile. Hang on. All right. We're going mobile, boys. We ain't messing around now. Dude, she was ready for you. She was. She was ready. Yeah. We'll see if we can get them just to voluntarily go up there. Mama, you're all right. Keep going. Make your make your circle. Make your circle. I know. We don't have to make this complicated. All right. Listen, I promise you're gonna be happier. There'll be hella sheep. Oh no, oh no. Who didn't shut the gate? What happened there, Junior? Well, now that'll be fun now. Hey, mama, listen, can we negotiate here? Okay, good talk. I mean, it might be easier to focus on one. Just don't let her go up there. Yeah, let's just see if we can get mama. If we get mama, the babies won't be too difficult. Mama, just go. Why do you gotta be like this? Now she, this is just gonna take all day. Back up. There it is, let her go. No, shit. Why are these sheep smarter than us? Come on, sheep. Yeah, they're coming. They're watching. Sheep, we don't have to make this more difficult than it. Yeah, they're going. Just don't pressure them too hard. They'll go. They're getting it. You got it, sheep. Easy peasy, just go do that in the corner. Don't make me get a weapon, all right? Son of a, there it is. I got two, all right, all right. Hey, just help me get this one. Let's worry about the two. I don't think, I mean, she might go up that way, but that's fine. Let's just make sure we don't lose what we got. Yep, just start inching, inching your way in. Start sliding, Banjo. There you go, you're doing good, doing good, easy. Just slowly walk forward. You start going that way, Banjo. 
There you go. There it is. Nice. Good work, boys. Load up. I'll shut this as long as I don't jump it. We'll try to get. Try to get the little one in here now. You just gotta trust me. There's a chance I just grab it. All right, let him run. Let him run. She's pushing. She's pushing back, 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 back. <laughs> no, this thing's super smart. We're getting our ass kicked by a baby doll sheep right now. Yeah. That's all right. There it is. There it is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Dude. Dude, I thought we had it. Oh, sh I didn't know she was coming. Oh, my God. She's looking at us like, what now, buddy? I don't know. I don't know what to do next. I mean, our best bet's getting her to wrap that corner. We just got a two two guys and a stick, maybe. She's, she's coming. coming. She's coming. She's coming. She's coming your way. Push her more. Push. Grab her. Oh, no. Oh, that was so close. Just come push, push, push. Grab her. Dude, you got to grab her. You got grab her. There you go. There you go. Hey, hey. All right, we're good. Hey, little, hey, little senorita. You got her. There she is. Come on, buddy. There you go. Holy smokes. See, this is why we don't want to shear things, because every time we want to shear, we got to do this. Hey, go see mom. Go see mama. All right. Hey, we'll give you some grain and water. It wasn't that bad. You, you clutched it up, man. It's like recent, wrestling a greased pig right now. This mud is brutal, dude. I was gonna say, I wasn't planning on getting muddy and then getting the track, but... Hey, you look yeah. good now. Yeah. Steve! See, that's what I'm saying. Every time we want to shear something, this is the process. Yeah. Now you understand why. I don't want to have any of left to shear. So now the trick is... Getting Steve on this side without letting anything else out. Junior, you ain't going to the auction, buddy. As much as I would love that. Okay. Let's go. Can't wait to try to move him. How, what are we gonna do there? <laughs> like, How did you guys get him here? He's unlo it's easy unload. I say don't fight him too hard. He's he's looking a little he's looking a little wound. Just yeah, you wanna just go grab him some food? Yeah. I'll just see if I can grab Steve. Yeah. If you just wanna leave it open and help me chase, we'll tr let's try it real fast. Cause if he thinks that side's safe, he'll go. It shouldn't be that hard to get he'll like right now he's gonna run to the other side. We're good, but so are the frickin' donkeys. All right, we got Steve, but we also we got every other animal we didn't want. Steve, quit running like you're a horse. All right, they're some half-ass separated. See, this is our problem. You get all these guys running around for no reason. Hey, watch it. All right, let him go, let him go, let him go, let him go, let him go. Push, push him, push him, push him, push him, push him, push him. All right, hang on. There we go. All right, you got Rick and Dale too, but just get him close. Just get him close. You're all right, Steve. Steve, we ain't trying to hurt nobody, Steve. Steve, we ain't trying to hurt nobody, Steve. Hey, I like you, Steve. Hey, there you go, Bl Rick, block for us. There it is. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You're all right. Come on, load up. Load up. Load up. There it is. Nice. Good work, boys. Just make a double block it out in case he double backs on us here. There it is. Good job, Steve. Come on. Steve. Oh, he he's dig he's digging it. He's digging his heels. Steve, go, Steve. Steve, come on. Steve, it ain't that bad. All right, one, two, three. There you go. Good job, Steve. Oh sh whose idea was that? You gotta drive forward. You gotta drive you gotta drive forward. Rick, don't oh my god, this stupid ass goat. I told you he'd voluntarily go. Oh, so was the other one. All right, we'll just take these guys while we're at it. Oh, really? Rick, quit. Oh, sh Yeah, hurry up. All right, you're good. Okay. Rick about was that bad. Oh, Rick, Rick. Oh, shit. Oh, shut, shut it. <laughs> Dale, holy. Dude, Dale's bigger than fuck for no reason. Look, he's a fucking mountain goat. He says, look at these rocks. All right, come on. <laughs> Dale, get yeah. your ass up there. 
Get your ass back in there. Hey, all right. Lock me in. Yeah, put grab that gate right here. Is there? Is there where's the panel? Oh my god. Oh, right there. This guy. Dude, he Dale's gotten so big. Strong. Dale's. <laughs> Dale is so strong, dude. Shoo! All right, sheep. I promise you're gonna be off in a better place. You just gotta trust me on this one. Okay, we're gonna get you to nice sheep farm where all they do is sheep things and you ain't gotta deal with no camels kicking okay you ain't gotta deal with no carol flinging oh, watch, out, watch, out, watch out watch out watch out we ain't gotta deal with none of that you'll be happier steve we will make sure there is an abundance of alpaca women there okay for you to do steve things because we know how you are steve you can be like you sometimes he just gets a little he just gets a little wound up isn't that right steve all right steve and the sheep are loaded up in the truck we're gonna head north to the auction, get them unloaded and get them dropped off. And then they're going to stay overnight there, which is pretty common. They give them hay, food, water. And then we're gonna go back tomorrow when the actual auction's happening. Hopefully we can stick around for them to get sold. And hopefully, again, they go to a nice family and maybe make a couple bucks. So stay tuned. Shoo! Alrighty, it is the next day. And oh, <laughs> luckily I heard that and just dropped the keys. It's the next day and it is time for Steve and the sheep to get sold. Um, we were a little bit late. Usually these things run behind, so I think we'll be okay. Um, but we're gonna go check up on them. We'll show you guys how, like, how they kind of hold them in different stalls and stuff. And then we should hopefully see Steve go through the ring and get sold. I don't know, I think they're doing him first. The sheep, I'm not sure we'll get to see them. They were kind of the last. It just depends how many animals they have. Um, I mean, we've done some of these deals where we're here till 8, 9 p.m., which I don't really want to do on a day like today because this place is three hours from my house. They moved it this past year and... Oh, you need those. Oh, there's a hole in my pocket. No wonder that keeps half. That was the second time. Who put the hole in my pocket? <laughs> it's like, who keeps dropping the keys? Macy needs to sew it. Yeah, I got it. He needs to sew my pocket, I guess. So um, anyways, that's the plan. Hopefully Steve's not already sold and hopefully we can see him and the sheep. We'll let you know what we end up getting for them. And then, like I said, we'll show you guys around a little bit and we'll see what happens. So stay tuned. Steve, what are you doing, Steve? You having a good time, buddy? What do you think, Keith? What do you think about this snaggletooth guy? Is Steve having flashbacks from the other llama? You think? Yeah. We're getting along. Steve, though. how's it going, buddy? Look at all these other. All these alpacas are kind of cute. See, Steve's gonna be with these guys. Oh, oh my God! Look, look at the baby. Oh my gosh! See that little sucker? Look at the little white guy. Oh, that's so cute. Hi, buddy. Are you nice like Steve? No? Steve will get sold with other similar animals. All sorts of... Hey, don't spit. Hey, put the tooth away. Steve's gonna... He's gonna hang out with the other animals. Sure. Are you the paddle guy? Yeah. That, that's an important job. Here, I'll give you that. Can you, can you hit banjo? Or no. No? I asked him if he'd hit banjo. He said no. Oh, should we get another Ralph? What are you doing there, buddy? He's massive. That guy is giant. Yeah. Like 10 years old. Really? That guy's 10? That's crazy. Hi, little sheep. Hi, buddy. You remember me? I know. You're pissed. I'm sorry. Okay, so there's Big Mama. There's the newer baby. Can you believe how big she got? We bought them a year ago. Not even a year ago. Like, almost a year ago. And then we bought her, the Big Mama. And then she gave birth to this guy. And then the little brown one. But they have been a pen with a bunch of goats. So they'll at least be nice to them. I know goats are pretty pretty chill. At least these guys look look pretty nice. They like them. They're just saying, they're all, yeah. I think they're all cuddling. Yeah. So they're doing they're doing well. I mean, look at all these. You could have all these sheep here. They go, oh, this guy kind of looks like Jerry. Red. Oh, you look. Jerry. Should we just get another one? That looks like Jerry, just for Big the men. Hi, Big Jerry. Oh, it. hi, Jerry. Oh, oh man, I miss you. Jerry. Hey, 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 you're gonna get stuck. Oh, look at that. He's fighting. Oh my god, this is the final boss. Look at him. Oh my. Should we buy that guy? What is it? Oh, that dude kicked the shit out of you. Is this a goat? Yeah, oh yeah. Dude, he looks. He, Dude, that's the final boss right there. That is the final boss. Absolutely. That is crazy. Okay, anyways, so you can see where there's oh, our sheep are down here. Sheep are doing good. They're alive. They're well. They're just hanging out with a bunch of goats. So all, all is good. You know which one they're going to take, too. We're selling choice. I'll uh, mail out packer right there, 344 is a lot on the southern bound. Got a bit of down to three down fifty. Yeah, three hundred out of five, I got a bit of three hundred out of three, three down three, down quarter, down three, twenty five and a quarter dollar bill. Yeah, three hundred out of three, down quarter dollar deer, down three hundred out of three, quarter dollar deer, twenty five and a down three hundred and a quarter dollar deer, twenty five and a down twenty five. So three hundred dollars, eight seventy two. Shoo! 
Woo! All right. Well, it's the next day. Auction ran late. We saw Steve, uh, and then they didn't get to the sheep until past midnight. And, you know, your boy wasn't about to camp out that long. But I uh, called him this morning, got the report. Verdict's in. We lost money across the board. Okay. I paid $1,000 for Steve, and he just sold for $300. I, the only thing I can think of is that year I bought him was a COVID year, and everybody get them stimulus checks and think they need alpacas. Okay. And, and the market was great. Now the market's not great. Okay. So, we lost 700 bucks on Steve, um, and he had nuts. So it's like, imagine if he didn't have nuts, Banjo. Yeah, he, he wouldn't be, he wouldn't be, he, yeah, you would have to do, like donate it. Alpacas there. Yeah, there's a lot of alpacas, so, like a ton. Like, there was like three hours worth of alpaca sales. Um, and then the sheep only sold for 175 each. I can't remember what I bought them for, but I, I can almost promise you it was more than that. Just with my luck, it was probably way more than that. Brooklyn's excited. She loves this old Jeep thing, by the way. Really? Oh yeah. She, she look. She'll just she climbs right in, turns it on, hits the horn. Really? Oh yeah. She That's gets so it. Yeah. Funny. She's all she's all about the Jeep. So, um, yeah. The like I said, uh, selling, it definitely didn't make any money. Okay, lost a lot of money on that. Um, I didn't sell them to make money. I sold them because again, I didn't think they really fit um, with the new farm business model that we were building um, for low maintenance. Um, low danger, no drama, no fighting. Okay. So we had to get rid of all that stuff. Um, and so now we get to start rebuilding, um, some of the farm and getting some different animals that don't need sheared and don't have nuts. Okay. Um, we need Brooklyn safe animals. Okay. We can't be worried about, you know, Rick headbutting or Ralph high sticking. Okay. We can't have any of that. So we're going to still keep all the animals. We'll have them in a separate pen and we're going to build her, her own little petting zoo filled with animals that are safe for her. So comment down below what animals you think are safe for her. Um, what, you know, I mean, I know it's not that I don't know what's safe, but like, give us ideas. What would you like to see? I mean, like we're talking about a small petting zoo, maybe like a, you know, hundred by a hundred pen or something like that. Like nothing crazy big, like maybe a half a dozen animals. Um, and that, that she could go in, help take care of. Maybe we get a couple of chickens that she goes and collects the eggs where it's just kind of everything we have on a smaller scale that's safe for her to kind of go in and enjoy the farm. Cause she likes seeing all the animals. It's just, you got to worry about one high stick from Ralph and, and it's all over. We can't be having that obviously. So let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And I, I know I do. Some of you guys are probably hating that we sold Steve. I know, I know. I, I like Steve. I really did. It just, he was causing too much drama. He's fighting, he's biting nuts still. Um, and you know, they're coming through the, like that's the breeding cycle. He's gonna hit that time of year where he starts biting nut sacks again. And it's just, it's not good for anybody. You can't be having that on the farm. Uh, so anyways, he went off to a better home. The person who bought him had a bunch of other alpacas. So again, I think he'll be good. Maybe he'll be a breeder. Then he's definitely gonna be excited. He's gonna be living his best life if they turn big boy Steve into a breeder. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, like I said, let us know what you think we should buy for her petting zoo, what do you think is Brooklyn safe? Um, what, and what would you guys like to see in her little area? And when we're about to get moved here, you can see all this stuff is getting uh, moved here. This stuff is getting auctioned off. Okay, we've talked about that, but the link will be in the description. We're gonna do it on, on Lunkers TV, whatnot. Um, we're gonna do a big, a big deal. He's gonna fly up here and we're gonna auction everything off. So if there's anything that you think you might want that's in my shop, that would be the time to get it. And we're not selling the airplane because she, she likes this little airplane thing. Airplane jeep she's all about it so anyways we will be moving shortly here april 1st is still the deadline it's looking good with the haunted house and it's looking good with the main house we're not sure which ones it's going to be we're going to move into first you guys will have to stay tuned and find out hope you guys enjoyed today's video peace